Hi, I'm Christine Chang. When it comes to intimate relationships, what we're all looking for is someone who will genuinely love us for us. We may have differences in wants and desires, different preferences, but when it comes down to it, all we really want is someone who loves us for us. So how do you meet someone who will genuinely love you for you? If you want someone to love you for you, you have to show people who you are. And this is especially important in the beginning as you're getting to know someone to be authentic and transparent in who you are. I think sometimes we get in a mode where we really want someone to like us or we want to impress someone or we think we have to win someone over. So we might do things that we normally wouldn't. And I don't think that that's a good idea. I think it's good to know what your boundaries are. Self-awareness in general is very important. Self-love, confidence, clarity in what you want your life to look like. What direction do you want to go? What do you want a long-term relationship to look and feel like? It's good to know these things, preferably before you get into a relationship and then as you are with someone, you both grow together and continue that communication because it's natural that people's needs and wants may change. And also values can change over time as well. If you need help in this area, I wrote a book. It's available on Amazon. It's called Show Up, Finding Love for Independent Women. It's available on Kindle and in paperback. And it's a very short read. And there are questions at the end of each chapter to help you gain clarity because the more clarity you have, the more confident you will be showing up as yourself. You won't feel unsure about it. When I first met my husband, I did not do anything different from what I normally do. He jokes sometimes, but it's actually not a joke. I'm a person who I don't like to be told what to do. And he was clear about that from the beginning. And he said, CC doesn't like to be told what to do. He signed up for that because I showed him who I was and he just knows like if I'm going to be with this woman, she's going to be a pain in the butt sometimes and I'm going to be aware that she does not like to be told what to do. Another like sillier example is I did not go to the waxing salon when we first started dating because I don't like going to waxing salons. They hurt, <laughs> they hurt. So I didn't want to do anything that I would have to do long-term or feel like I had to do long-term. And I didn't want to be that person who did something in the beginning and then years down the road, my partner would be like, why don't you do that anymore? Because I wouldn't want someone to do that to me. No one wants to feel tricked or bamboozled like, hey, I thought I was signing up for this person who did all these things, but it turns out they don't like doing these things. The self-awareness can also come over time as well, because if you're younger, you are learning what you like and don't like. I think I spent a good, it was five to six years doing personal growth and really focusing on myself, learning about who am I? What do I want? What do I actually want in life? And I did that being single and also dating as well. You learn a lot about yourself being alone and you also learn a lot about yourself as you're dating different types of people. So it's very simple, easier said than done. But if you want someone to genuinely love you for you, you really have to show who you are. And this also takes being vulnerable as well, like to be seen, to be truly seen. It's not the Instagram version of you that you put out into the world. We're all imperfect. We all have insecurities. We all have things in the past we've done that we're not proud of. And it's okay. You'll learn if you have intimate relationships with people, everybody has something and it's sharing those things and showing all parts of yourself to someone to connect with them and the right person will love you for you not everyone will love it and yes sometimes it's disappointing and it sucks to get rejected but if you want to create a relationship where you feel like you can be you then you need to show people who you are if you like this video make sure to subscribe I'm also on, on Instagram and TikTok, the handle I will put below. 
and I also have a book. It is called Show Up, Finding Love for Independent Women, and it is available on Amazon.